Hi wine lovers, my name's Kimberly and welcome to Wine on a Dime. It's been a hot minute. I haven't made a show in the whole month of January. Nope. But I am back now. Um, I decided to move my location from my living room into my spare bedroom where I am now. Um, it is a work in progress as you can see. I am sitting in front of a black curtain. It's not very beautiful. Um, but I couldn't stay away from you guys. I wanted to do some wine reviews, so bear with me over the couple weeks. Um, it's going to be ugly for a little while, but we will be drinking wine, so it's good to be back. I want to meet the person who's like, Valentine's Day is my favorite holiday, because they're a liar. Anyway, <laughs> around this time of year, you're going to start to see displays of pink sparkling wine. So today we're going to drink three different kinds of pink sparkling wine that I found on Valentine's Day displays, and they're at three different price points, so we'll see which one's best for you and your honey, or you and yourself. To drink on Valentine's Day. First up, I have Raspberry Sparkle Teeny. I'm sure you've seen this before at the store. I got this for $5.99 at CVS Pharmacy. It is 5% alcohol by volume, so don't expect to get wine wasted on this. It is considered a malt beverage, so I'm not really sure how much wine is really in it. Um, it does say that it's Italian spumante, um, which that means usually a Moscato from the Piedmont region of Italy. We'll see what this tastes like. Um, it kind of, I, when looking at it, it says that the uh, plastic cork here is reusable, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> it's kind of hard to take off though. <laughs> I have this dry towel to help me. Nope, nope, not making it better. Oh, there we go. Just had to put some muscle, woo! <laughs> had to put muscle into it, okay. So, you can put this back on, I guess. Whatever, we're gonna just drink some. Okay, this is Kind of a light pink on the pour. Nice bubbles here. Um, the bottle is pretty bubbly too. Um, let's uh, take a sniff here. It doesn't smell like wine. <laughs> it kind of smells like Sprite. Hopefully it tastes better than Sprite, maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's have a little taste. Ooh. That's sweet. Hmm. It does taste kind of like raspberry candies. If there were raspberry Sprite in the world, that's what this would taste like. It kind of reminds me, you know, around the holidays, how they have that cranberry sprites or 7-Up or something. Sierra Mist. There's so many sodas. Lemon lime soda. Next up, we have America's favorite champagne. Well, champagne method sparkling wine. It's not really champagne because it's made in America. Anyways, Corbel. Sweet Rosé. They also have a Brut Rosé version which I personally probably would have liked better. Well, I don't know, I haven't tried this, but not really a sweet wine person, but I decided to go out of my comfort zone because it's Valentine's Day and I'm America's wine sweetheart. This California traditional method sparkling wine uh, retails for $12.49 at BevMo. It was on sale for Valentine's Day usually around $14.99. Um, it's 11% alcohol by volume. It has, oh what white, has Zinfandel, 
Pinot Noir, Chenin Blanc, and Sauvignon in it. So let's um, pop this open. So when you open a sparkling wine bottle, you want to untwist the cage a couple times. Um, leave it on. Take your handy dandy towel here. Get a good grip on it. And you're actually going to grab on to the cage and then you twist the bottle and you're not going to poke out anyone's eye. Woo! Nobody killed. Let's go. All right. Let's taste this. Ooh, I guess I could have poured that better because I have all fizz. That's okay. I always pour at a 45 degree angle, they say. Don't be a noob, they say. This is a little bit darker in color than the Sparkle Teeny. Whew. <laughs> it smells really sweet. Mmm. Kind of smells like strawberries, high fruit is what I'm thinking. Let's take a taste. This is actually pretty good. It's better than Moscato. It is on the sweeter end. Hmm. Now for our highest priced Valentine's Day wine. It's technically not pink sparkling wine. It's white, but it has pink, like, wrapping on it. But I thought it should count because I did get it on a Valentine's Day display. $18.99 at World Market, I bought Sophia Blanc de Blancs sparkling wine from the Francis Ford Winery in California. It is wrapped in this pink stuff. Beautiful. Um, it has Pinot Blanc in it, Muscat, and Riesling. Um, so, yeah. Oh, there's actually a thing to take this off more easily. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> okay, let's pour some of this in here. Um, this is not pink, so it has a nice kind of mellow straw color <laughs> um, but it is an option here mm. it smells like pears and apple a little like herbaceous honeysuckle on the nose definitely the most complex smelling of the three let's take a taste This is definitely not a sweet wine, so if that's what you're going for on Valentine's Day, um, this is more kind of a brute wine. But some people like that. I like that. It has kind of a grapefruit like finish to it, which is interesting. I kind of get a golden apple pear on the tip of the tongue, and then when you swallow, I get a little bit of citrus um, kind of on the grapefruit note. Okay, so I've tried three Valentine's Day wines. Which one would I recommend for you and your honey on V-Day? Oh, so I got the Sparkle Teeny and the Corbel. And you can see the difference in color here. They're both pink, but the Corbel is significantly darker. And then I have the Sophia Blanc de Blancs. It's weird tasting that after sweet wine because it's not sweet. Okay, I think I made my decision. So for Valentine's Day specifically, 
My winner is the Corbel Sweet Rosé, which I'm surprised because I hate sweet wine, but it kind of just, the taste really embodies Valentine's Day. It's not too sticky sweet, it has this bright fruit flavor. Um, if you and your loved one are not a wine people, but you want to try wine and have some, you know, something special on the holiday, this seems really approachable and, you know, people who don't typically drink wine, I can see um, enjoying this quite a bit. Mm. It's pretty good. I would give second place for Valentine's to the Sparkle Teeny. Um, this would be definitely <laughs> for your wine noob here, um, or if you wanted to mix it with something harder. Um, it's kind of fun, it's kind of inexpensive. I just feel like the Corbel really outshines it in flavor. And then, <laughs> so I picked the middle price range. The most expensive wine, um, the Sophia, I just, I can't justify paying, you know, 18 to 20 dollars for this. It's, it's okay, like it's not anything special. It's on this, it's more on the brute end, so maybe not everyone would like it. I think for, you know, around the $10 to $12 range, I think it went $12.49, $12 to maybe $14 range, this is a good um, special occasion wine. You could probably find it on sale right now. Well, I pick the Corbett. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. I really like this. I'm surprised. Corbel kind of has a bad reputation for like tasting like poop. Maybe it's because it's like a sweet, like may, I bet you the root one like doesn't taste as good. It kind of is like, Ugh, why didn't I get real champagne? But like if they're going for the sweetness, that Sauvignon like really, I think it really is the, uh, defining grape in this. I know I'm just rambling on about wine stuff, but yeah, that makes a difference. It tastes better than any white Zen or like Pinot Sweet Rosé I've ever had. It's pretty good. I'm surprised I thought I was gonna like the Sophia.